what they're doing and the rest of the Harvard faculty and the other community members. Um, I think that it's really a bad idea for investors like Harvard, big institutional investors, um, pension funds included, to be uh, putting a lot of money in fossil fuel companies um, you know, for, for the long term. It's important to divest because when you're invested in fossil fuel companies, you're basically financing and profiting from climate change. Uh, and climate change, so you, well, you're trading off short-term paper profits um, when the price of oil goes back up for long-term ruination, basically. And the profits that we get now, that we generate now, well, you know, the stocks are uh, when they start to do well, is not going to be nearly enough profit, really, to deal with the consequences of climate change. Uh, climate change is starting now and is going to continue to devastate agriculture, um, water supplies. Um, it's going to turn populations into refugees. It's going to be at extreme weather events causing billions of dollars, and they're more frequent. This is going to cost trillions of dollars to keep up with the effects of climate change. So it's it's a terrible societal investment. And uh, so when you're divesting money from fossil fuel economies, <laughs> where then would you put that money? Well, I mean that's you know that's a tricky question uh, because you know. Big picture wise, you want to shift uh, resources into clean energy and uh, clean technology, uh, you know, renewable forms of energy. Um, you know, in the tricky part, you know, is for investment managers to work out, and that is finding which companies uh, in which time frames are going to yield uh, enough profit to make up for the short term loss of profit from oil and gas and coal companies. So uh, just because you've taken out a chunk of money from fossil fuel uh, companies doesn't mean you can necessarily just take it and take that lump sum and put it all in wind and salt. Um, that has to be done over time. It has to be done carefully, prudently. But that's why you pay your investment manager.